Hi and welcome everyone to another episode of the Journey Through Apostolic Successions. In Numbers chapter 16 verse 40 says, No outsider who is not of the descendants of Aaron shall approach to offer incense before the Lord. This shows God's intention of unbroken succession within his kingdom on earth. Unless a priest was ordained by Aaron and his descendants, he had no authority. So, today we hear about our 174th Pope in apostolic successions, that is Pope Clement III. He was Pope from the year 1187 to 1191. He was born in Rome in the year 1130 and he was also known as Paolo or Paulino. Let's hear some facts about Pope Clement III. Because of his Roman heritage and his friendship with Pope Alexander III, he was appointed Archpriest of the Liberian Basilica. He then became the first Cardinal Deacon of the Cardinal Titular Church, then known as Santi Sergio Ibeco in 1179, but he left the position in December of the following year to become the Cardinal Bishop of Palestrina. He remained there until becoming Pope. Following the death of Gregory VIII, church members gathered to pick the next Pope. They chose Clement III in December of the year 1187 and almost immediately appointed him. Next are few contributions by Pope Clement III. A dispute over the appointment of church authorities arose shortly after his succession, involving the residents of Rome as well as church officials. A deal made by Clement III retained the Pope's authority to appoint the governor but gave the people the power to choose some of their representatives. When he became Pope, there were only 20 men in the College of Cardinals. Clement III took on the responsibility of appointing new members and appointed more than 30 men as new cardinals during his tenure. The Pope focused on strengthening his ties with other world leaders such as King William I of Scotland and Emperor Frederick I Barbarossa. In order to aid Scotland, he ended the Archbishop of York's authority over the Scottish Church, resulting in the creation of the Church of Scotland as a separate entity. The Pope didn't agree to crown Henry VI, Holy Roman Emperor, and this angered the King, and the crisis was acute when the Pope died in the latter part of March 1191. Pope Clement III died on March 20, 1191 likely due to natural causes while living in Rome. Celestine III followed Clement III as the next Pope. Thank you all for listening and as always, please stay tuned for our next episode. Please like, share and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the Church, God bless all of you.